Hi friends, here we are at Port Orford Public Library and we've got something super exciting coming up for you all. If you are a student at Driftwood School or Head Start, you will have this month's packet delivered to you in your classroom. Otherwise, if you're not in the schools right now, you can come visit us at the library and grab one here. What we've got is called the My Plate Healthy Holidays Packet. And what you're going to get when I say my plate, I mean it. You're going to get a plate. It's going to look either like this or like this. It's not the kind of plate you're used to seeing because usually there's just one design on a plate or maybe it's plain. But these plates show us how much of different foods we should be eating to stay healthy. And this is something we want to think about. Coming up on the holidays when we have so many choices of yummy things to eat, when we want our bodies to be strong and well and have lots of energy, but not too much extra calories. Calories is a way we measure energy. If we get too many calories and we don't use all that energy, it can make us unhealthy. So we would not want that. Everybody's going to get in their packet one of these plates and a selection of some healthy foods. All of this is brought to you by us at the library along with our partners Ready, Set, Learn and the Common Good Food Bank. So we've got some super stuff for you and I just want to talk a little bit about healthy eating. And we know that we need food to grow and to go, keep us going. And there are five different food groups we can see those listed right here on the My Plate board. Dairy is one kind of food group. I bet you've heard of these before. Some of you have. And some of the delicious things that are in the dairy area are down here. Things like cheeses. I know most of you are pretty into ice cream. That's a dairy food. Dairy foods come from animals. There's yogurt and milk. Those are some dairy things, oftentimes from cows or goats, different animals like that. So dairy foods are very good for you because they give you calcium to make your bones super strong, among lots of other things that are important for us. So we want to eat dairy foods at your age probably at least three times a day. So you want to make sure that that's sitting alongside your plate. Something with dairy in it, either it's on your plate or it's next to your plate, say if you have a glass of milk. You notice all the other food groups on your plate, fruits, grains, vegetables, and proteins. This is not an equal pie, is it? Whoops. I use the word pie loosely. It's not a pie at all, but it's a pie chart. And it shows us how much of each of these foods we should be eating. Like we don't want to have too much of any one thing because they all work together to make all of our body systems work well. And if we have more vegetables than protein, that's a good balance for us. And when we're thinking about vegetables, there's so many choices too. Vegetables are fun because they come in so many different colors. And you know, if you pick different color vegetables, they tend to give you different vitamins. And there's different textures. So this is a lot of fun if you're gonna go shopping. See if you try something new. Something about vegetables and another food group, fruits, that you may not know Something living in the middle here, tomatoes. A lot of people think tomatoes are vegetables because oftentimes we eat them with lettuce in our salad, sometimes on a sandwich. But actually, tomatoes are a fruit. That's a whole nother story, but it's kind of an interesting fact. You might trick someone with that someday. So we have a lot of fruits to choose from. Again, different colors and textures. All those things are really good. So fruits and vegetables together should make up this much of what's on your plate when you're ready to eat. 
when it comes to grains, you really want to have whole grains not things that have gone through a lot of machines and are processed and all broken down because that way our body doesn't get to use it the way it needs to. So if you can get whole grains like the darker colored whole wheat breads. Did you know, this is my favorite fact about food, popcorn is a whole grain. I'm a big popcorn fan. Popcorn is a really healthy snack. The only thing that can make popcorn not quite as healthy is if we put a lot of butter on it. And I know that's good. But we have to be careful with that food group. We have to be so careful we're not even putting it up on the board. But I know some of us, and we, yeah, we really do. Okay, everybody likes <laughs> some fats and sugars because it makes things tasty. And they're okay to have once in a while in little amounts but we don't want to have them all the time. If we're going to use some fats in our food, it's better to use olive oil than it is to use butter or other oils. You can sprinkle some olive oil on your popcorn. That works. It'll trick you. So, sodas is a whole nother story. If you have sodas, it has so much sugar in there. And there's also some chemicals. So these are things that you really don't want to have very often. If you're reaching for something to drink and you're thirsty, what's the best thing to drink? Did you know that your body is made up mostly of water? So I think putting more water into your body is a good way to stay healthy. So let's try and choose not to have sodas very often. Same goes for other delicious things. A lot of these delicious things will show up around the holidays. It's hard to resist, I know it, but we want to do it because we want our bodies to be healthy and strong, and you're just growing and growing, and you want your brains to grow really strong. One thing you need for your brain to grow strong is protein. Proteins are found in some animal products, so if you eat meat, you might choose, here's something we see at the holidays oftentimes, a turkey or a chicken. Fish is something that a lot of us know about because we live in a place where fishing is a very important thing. So fish gives us a lot of protein. As does, here's another animal product. We met the cow products under the dairy category. And here is some beef. And beef is a good source of iron and also um, protein. But it also has a lot of fat, so we don't want to have that too often. There's some good ways you can get protein without even eating meat. So you might think about doing that some of the time, or all of the time. Nuts are a good way. Make sure you're not allergic. Beans. Beans mixed together with rice makes a complete protein, so it's as good for your body as a big hunk of meat. So think about that. Tofu is a plant, oops, comes from a plant. <laughs> and this is good because it's fermented, that's one thing. And also it gives us a lot of protein and it's a good way to keep the planet healthy too. And again, coming from nuts, we've got peanut butter. And if you're not allergic to peanuts, that's a great way to get some protein. So, so many choices. Did we leave anything out? Grains. We went over that a little bit. Fruits, vegetables, protein, dairy. Those are our main food groups. And then we've got fats and sugars a little bit on the side. So when you get your healthy food packet, you're going to get these items as well as a little bit of information and some fun games about eating healthy and also you'll have in there a gratitude journal. And because it's that time of year, Thanksgiving, we all want to be thankful for everything that we have. Healthy food is one of the great things that we're lucky enough to have. So let's give thanks for that and use your gratitude journal to write down or draw pictures of all the things that you're thankful for and happy about. So thanks for listening and keep watching out for your healthy holidays packet coming soon. 
and thanks for coming by Port Orford Public Library. See you soon. Bye-bye.